Do you remember when I was offered that inspector position in Union City? Yes, you turned it down. But you were the reason that I wanted to take it. When were you going to tell me? I applied for that job a year ago and I didn't get it. And now that I did, it just doesn't seem like there's anything holding us back. What about all the friends that Allie's made here? That you've made? I need you like the Things were complicated. I, I found myself falling like for you and I felt wrong because the reason I asked to be assigned here was to protect you after after Jack died. Yeah. I never met Jack, but I knew that he left behind a wife and child. I'm Elizabeth Thornton. I felt that it was my responsibility to look after you. Is that it's a pleasure to meet you? What took you so long to tell me what happened? I felt guilty. Elizabeth. Never mind. Jack got you down? Yeah, maybe. Or my better judgment. When I found myself... When I found myself falling in love with you, I felt like I was betraying Jack in his memory. That's why I didn't tell you. If I hadn't gotten to her, she might have died. You both could have died. What is this really about? I don't know what you're talking about. Please, in the future, just, just let me do my job. You are entitled to feel whatever it is you're feeling, but please stop shutting me out. I'm not shutting you out. No, Finn. I just want you to be safe. Because... Because you matter to me. I never wanted anyone to know this, but I dreaded the idea of a new Mountie coming here. I was convinced I would despise whoever it was just because they were alive and Jack wasn't. And when you found out that Jack took my place in the training mission. Ali finally started putting down roots somewhere. It's why I turned down the promotion to inspect. You stayed because she was happy. I said it was part of it. I know there's something you haven't told me. And I want you to tell me what it is. At Wortley, I was the one that was supposed to lead the training mission. I'm sorry, it was, it was just... Never the right time to tell you I wanted to. Jack might have taken the place for anyone on that mission. When I said it just happened to be you, what I didn't say is how thankful I am that it was you. I couldn't have asked for a more courageous, selfless, good man to watch over and care for me. And I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, I don't blame you for his death. Thank you. And I hope we're able to put this behind us. I haven't given up on Elizabeth just yet. I fell in love with her. And I think that love is always worth fighting for. I believe she pushes people away before they have the chance to get close to her. Why would she do something like that? To protect herself? If she pushes people away, she doesn't have to worry about losing them. You were my great love. But when I lost you, something inside me just broke. The thought of going through that again. What if, what if I broke a second time, but couldn't put the pieces back together again? But Nathan, when you were almost shot... Elizabeth, just listen to me for a second. You want more than I can give you. It would just hurt too much if I lost you the way I lost Jack. I wouldn't let that happen. You have no right to promise me that. Elizabeth, look, I know you feel the same way that I do. I can't. Haven't you ever lost someone so close to your heart that it tears you apart? 
semuanya They just have to decide if it's worth it. I am so sorry for hurting you, for letting fear get in the way. It's your heart that makes me feel brave. If you are unsure whether you've shown each other your true hearts, you may want to try again. True love is always worth fighting for. Do you think they still would have found each other anyway? You asking me if I believe in fate? I am. <laughs> yeah, I think fate is taking what life gives you and turning it into what you want. I will fight. I will fight for you. What about all the friends that Ali's made here? I always do. That you've made. Do but look, I know you feel the same way. It's black and blue. I will stay I will stay with you Elizabeth, I was wondering I was wondering I was wondering if you um if you were not yes I'll reach my hands out in the dark and wait for yours to enter I can for you Well, let me know when you figure it out So what's in your heart? You let me know when you figure it out. Elizabeth, I'm in love with you. Elizabeth, I love you. Please stop shutting me out. For Ali's favorite teacher. What is this really about? I made you this. I remember you told me you liked that. I fell in love with you. I think that love is always worth fighting. I'm not going down that easily. Hi. So don't give up on me. That'd be great. Great. Now we'll hold. I'll hold on to you. No matter what this world will throw. I won't shake me loose. I just want to let you know that I'm not one to shy away from competition. Elizabeth, would you like to get dinner with me? I'm all following you. Nobody's asked me to dance. I can fix that. I don't think of you as being in anyone's shadow. Are we just friends? I'm not giving up, giving up, 
friends don't look like their friends this way. I've never stopped loving you about for a single second. so afraid of what I was feeling for you. If I hadn't stayed, if I hadn't gotten to know you. And here we are. I will fight. I will fight for you. I love you. I always do until my heart is black and blue. Boring? Mm -hmm. Us? <laughs> We're not boring. I know.